Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a little grid tied solar inverter, grid connected inverter. It's a JSI 1500 TL. And I'll get you a name up on the side plate. Let's have a look at this. So it's made by Shenzhen JFY Tech Co. Limited. And it is a 1650 watt inverter, so a relatively small one. It's an EU country code and it'll take 100 to 450 volts of input. So three or four panels minimum up to whatever number. But the reality is that you've still got to be under 1650 watts. So a set, a set of small panels or a small set of panels, high voltage, low current, I guess. Let's have a look and see if it works. So we've got some DC there. Let's get some AC here. It has a cable which I presume is wired correctly. So I'll put that onto the safety block. Let's see if we can get something going for it. Pull off that earth sleeve and get these wires connected. They're quite beefy wires for for the current or for the power that this machine can generate. They're they're a bit oversized really. They look like four they look like four or six mil. Now I have to get this earth in here. There we go. And if I close the safety block we'll have AC power. And then if I bring up the Variac, my test rig, we'll have DC power. Let's prop this up. Okay, now we're on the test bench and it should all be live. So let's start bringing up the voltage and see if we get any joy out of it. It looks like it's waking up, that's positive. Waiting, sun. So I'm up to about 80 volts, probably a bit more. So verifying grid, 174 seconds, 173. So let's fast forward here. Five, four, three, one. There's relays clicking. It's saying normal, that's good. It says power on one side, we're getting zero watts, point zero watts. I don't know what's going on there, let's see. We've only got one button on it. Point 0.1 watts. It's doing something. But that's very, very low. Contrast. Language. G83, serial number. Bit of a weird, it doesn't really have a serial number there, does it? It's saying 0.1 watts. That's, like, that's as good as nothing. It said E total there was zero as well. That suggests that it's never been used. That doesn't sound right. It's getting 260 volts DC into it. But no AC out. can read the grid, but it's not giving me any alarm or any warning code. So I'm giving it a bit more power there. We're up to probably about 300 volts now. Doesn't seem to be doing very much there. Varying by tiny amount. So 300 volts on DC. There's no other options on it here, um, so I might have to have a look inside it. I think this would be a useful little inverter. 
but I would like it to work. With this voltage coming out of the set setup that I have, it should be it should be doing a bit more than that. The voltage is there, but the power is not, so it's reading the voltage. But the fact that it's not giving me an error code is a bit weird. It should have an alarm, and it should give me an alarm code. Most peculiar. Okay, let's let's shut down the DC and see what happens. If it'll go to sleep or what. I'm just going to reconnect. That's quite peculiar as well. Yeah, waiting sun. So it knows there's nothing there. It's going into standby. Okay, and now it's gone off. That's perfect. So it's it's waking up and going to sleep adequately. This is a JSI 2000 TL uh, grid tied, grid connected solar inverter. Just plugged in the AC side of it, and I'll shortly plug in the DC side to my test bench. On the side of it, it says uh, PV input operating voltage range 100 to 500 volts. So let's give it something over 100 volts and see if it wakes up. It looks like it's waking up there. That's good. Let's get a zoom in on that. It says waiting sun. And it'll take a few minutes to do that. Okay, three, two, one. I hear a relay clicking. A number of relays. Oh yeah, we can hear it going there, I think. So let's bring that down a little bit. We're getting AC. 270 watts out, that's pretty good. So this one seems to be working. So I've just tested a JSI 1500 TL, I think it was. It's racing up again there. It tends to draw quite heavily from the test bench. Because it has an unlimited supply of, well, relatively unlimited compared to what it can manage. So it seems to be working. Let's see if we can go through the Contrast is the first one. It's a slow computer normally to follow here. English. GA, there's a serial number there. The other one didn't have a serial number. It's, it's getting 700 odd volts out of what's about 100 and something. 100 watts out of 100 volts. The total, that was only about 4,000, so it's a relatively young machine. I'd like to see VDC, yes, yeah, so 125 volts. I'm trying to keep that low because I don't want the AC power running away over. I think it's, uh, I think I need to bring it right down there. it has a tendency to climb. The noise you can hear in the background is the variac creeping up. I'm bringing the volts down. I'm down to what is indicated at 85 or 90, but it's probably over 100. Yeah, look, so it's gone below 100 now. Um, it's got a tendency to draw too much power out of the out of the Variac, which is a bit peculiar. So I'll wind it down a bit more and just see is there any more. So it's generated a little bit today, if you believe that. 4823 kilowatt hours total, which is quite, quite small. Now I'm giving it 119 volts at the moment. Um, that's not, that's not correct. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite slow to respond this one. So 74 is more like, more like what I'm giving it. Andy Reynolds mentioned version J1. Andy Reynolds mentioned that there's a possibility in some of these machines that their internals can start to run away and they're not doing MPPT tracking um, correctly. And I don't know much about that, but it could be that there's an issue that it's running away. JFYtech.com, I didn't see that screen before. Contrast, we're back to the start again, okay. Serial number, it's in standby. So 
So you can press a button and it's quite slow to respond. Okay, and it should all be zero from there on. So there could be a relay fault with the JSI 1500, but also it wasn't giving me any serial number or any lifetime generation, which is a bit peculiar. I'll shut this one down now. And we'll have a look at the nameplate on the side of it. It's uh, JFY, Shenzhen JFY Tech dot co limited. And there's some contact details there, but the maximum input voltage is 500 volts, and the operating voltage range is 100 to 500 volts, and it's an output continuous of 2,200 watts. And it's an outdoor unit. You could you could run it outdoors, except that I'm missing the cover plate for this um, connector block here. But you could you could even run it outdoors at that. It's going to get wet inside though eventually. It's got a big heat sink on the back. I have the mounting brackets for this one, which makes it a bit more useful. So if it's working, that's good. What I should do then is attach it to some solar panels and run it for a month or two, and see if I get any satisfaction out of it. I think that's the thing to do with this. I think that's what I should do.